Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of creative writing and explore a crucial element that often doesn't get the attention it deserves, setting. While it may be tempting to think of setting as just a backdrop, it's so much more than that. It's the heartbeat of every story, the pulse that breathes life into our narratives. So let's explore the importance of setting in creative writing. Setting isn't merely a physical space. It's a living, breathing entity that shapes our characters, influences our plot, and transports our readers to a whole new world. Whether it's a quaint village or a futuristic metropolis, the setting holds immense power to evoke emotions, amplify themes, and make the story's atmosphere come alive. Imagine wandering through a gloomy forest, the ancient trees looming overhead, and the scent of pine filling the air. Suddenly, you're not just reading words on a page, you're experiencing a sensory journey. One of the fundamental roles of setting is to create atmosphere. It's like painting the mood of the story with your words. A sunny beach, a stormy night, a mysterious mansion, the setting immediately establishes the emotional tone, drawing readers into the world of the story. But it's not just about appearances. The setting interacts with our characters. Imagine a character's favorite spot or the way they react to the hustle and bustle of a city. These interactions reveal their innermost thoughts, fears, and dreams. Setting is also a master of symbolism. It's not just about describing where things happen. It's about why they happen there. A decaying building might represent the decline of a character's life, just as a bustling city might mirror the chaos of their existence. It's like adding a hidden layer to your story that enriches the narrative's meaning. Now, as writers, how can we craft settings that truly shine? Well, specificity is key. Instead of saying a forest, bring it to life with details, the towering trees, the dappled sunlight, the earthy scent, engage the senses, let readers feel the wind, hear the rustling leaves, smell the rain-soaked soil. And let's not forget about time and era. Grounding our stories in a specific time period can add depth and context. But what about challenges and conflict? Settings aren't just passive backdrops. They can become obstacles that characters need to overcome. Think of a confined space that intensifies tension or an expansive landscape that allows for reflection. Settings can guide the pacing of your story and even steer its direction. To understand these concepts, you can dive into classic short stories like To Build a Fire by Jack London, where the unforgiving Yukon wilderness becomes a character in itself, testing the protagonist's will to survive. Or The Lottery by Shirley Jackson, where an ordinary village becomes the chilling backdrop for a shocking ritual. Together, we will be reading a work by Edgar Allan Poe. I want you to analyze how setting plays a vital role in Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher. Explore how the decaying mansion mirrors the psychological states of the characters, especially Roderick Usher. Delve into the symbolism, the gloomy atmosphere, how these elements contribute to the eerie and unsettling tone of the story. As for our second assignment, I challenge you to let your imagination run wild. Create a floating city above the clouds and immerse yourself in the readers of this fantastical world. Describe the architecture, the layout, the daily routines, and how the setting influences the character's way of life. Use descriptive language to paint a vivid picture that captures the reader's attention and imagination. If you need assistance or have any questions, I hold Zoom office hours from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Additionally, you can reach out via Canvas inbox. Remember, setting isn't just a backdrop. It's a storyteller in its own right. It's time to let it speak. Happy writing, everyone.